Hello, 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 how is everyone today? Um, Emily here from Belly Bell Tents. I'm coming on very quickly to show you a little bit of PR that I was in this week, which was quite exciting. Someone's out there must seem to think that I'm some sort of working mum. I don't tend to talk about my three kids ever, ever. But um, obviously last week, a couple of weeks ago, I joked that I was in Women Magazine. This week, top trump that, this week I am in, drum roll, Women's Own Magazine, get in me. And if you pop on to page 13, is it okay to swear in front of your kids? <laughs> but the exciting thing is, there's a bit on me, and there's a bit about our family, and at the very end, of my opinion, and by the way, I'm of the opinion that you shouldn't swear in front of your kids, not that they're gonna hear it anyway, which the lady on the other side, she says, they're gonna hear it anyway, so therefore she can swear in front of our kids. Great example to see. Um, but at the bottom, it says Emily is the founder of Baby Bell Tents. My business name is in there. Yay! Um, and I was very, very nearly, I'm very sad to say, I was very this close to being on Jeremy Vine just a minute ago. I was waiting in the half hour slot by their, 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 um, their who is it? Their, their planning team had spoken to me on the phone and told me to hold fire by my phone. And I got top trumped. I got top trumped by a lady who was one of 15 kids. I mean, what are the chances? I'm there about to tell Prince um, Kate how she should cope with three kids under the age of five, and this lady comes on saying she's one of fifteen children. I mean, that's just a bit rude, if you ask me. I think my my slant on it was going to be perfectly fun, but Jeremy Vine didn't want to speak to me, which is okay. My time will come, Jeremy. My time will come. Um, in the short term, if anyone fancies another little read, I'm going to the airport tomorrow, so I might pick up another and like casually just pop it to the side on, on, on chairs and stuff in the airport so people can start to read about us, which is exciting. Um, on that note, I'm going to go because I have not a lot to say apart from the fact that I feel very famous for being in two brilliant magazines. It's definitely like what I'm aspiring to be in. <laughs> um, but as I always say, any exposure is good exposure and it's good to get my name out there. So um, yay. If anyone fancies reading it or buying it, pick it up in shops near you today. Bye.